want to mention what they like to write? Yes, right behind you. Oh, I like to, sometimes I like to write just things that like have to do with being outdoors, kind of more like yep. adventure. Good, okay. So even if you don't write fiction, you all have to write for your classroom, right? Yeah. You to write essays and things like that. So where do you get the things that you like to write about? Where do you get them? Yeah, way in the back, way, way in the back. Blonde hair. Yes. Well, my ideas come to me like sometimes when I'm doing stuff that I just pops into my head, then I write it down, and then it comes to story. I always have many okay. different types of stories. Oh, okay, all right. What else? Anywhere else? Yes, way over there with the pink, maybe, or is that red? Yep. Yeah. 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 It, I think about what I have in my house, and then it just like comes to my mind, and I write down what I think. So you have, what, what's your name? Allison. Allison, you actually do what a lot of writers do. They take from their lives around them. And that's certainly what I do in my books. And when I first started out writing, I thought that was kind of confusing because you want to write a fantasy book. How can you write about things that you know in fantasy? Because fantasy is make-believe, right? So it took me a while to figure out how that works, how writers take things and put them in their lives. And I do that a lot by writing about setting. I usually set the books in places that I know. Uh, I usually write about things that I know about. And I'm always careful to write about something I don't know about, that I have to do a little bit of research. Because sometimes when I started off writing, I would write about things only.